Hello YouTube, welcome to another video. I'm Jeebus and this is another GTA 5 video of a mission you can play if you want to stack up some quick money, um, if you want to rank up quickly, mainly for getting some money. There are, another, are other really quick ways to rank up with death matches and clever use of game mechanics, if you want to call it that. So let's just head over to GTA 5 here real quick. And the mission you want to do in this one is called the Los Santos Connection. And it's in the mission list. So go to online, jobs, play job, rockstar created, missions. And that it's at really long, far down in the list. It opens up at rank 40. Uh, so we, unless you're rank 40, you... If you are not rank 40, I should say, you need a friend to invite you to this mission. And once you get that, start the mission up. Are you sure you want to start this job? Yes, I do. And this mission takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Because there's a lot of things you got to do. So this is pretty much only good for getting money. So confirm settings. Set it to hard, of course. Uh, hard, 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 hard. Confirm settings and make it closed and play. And again, this is another mission that is greatly enhanced if you've got, you, you, you have a lot of benefits if you've got the Kuruma, the current Kuruma or the uh, Zentorno. Don't know the brand of that car, sadly. But yeah, what you need to do is get to the drug deal. And since I've got my high-end apartment up at Eclipse Towers, I'm just going to have to drive for a bit longer than if you have an apartment further down into the center of Los Santos, I guess. So yeah, just get to the drug deal and start killing shit. And I have deposited all of my money into the bank so that you guys can really see how much money I get from this mission. This mission nets you about $30,000, roughly, each time you do it, if you spend a little time into it as well. Because like I said, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to get a good payout. You can probably do this faster if you've got like a helicopter to come pick you up and get you down there or if you do this with the Santorno you might have uh, the advantage of time being less of an issue because the Santorno is faster than the Kuruma another downside to the Kuruma besides it being slow is that you can't use sticky bombs or grenades you can only use firearms and that is limited to pistols and your Uzi or automatic weapons so just get get in here start killing these guys no biggie there are a few guys spawning here i think five guys total maybe six just get him down shoot this pie crate right here and here are two two suvs coming in at least they should be yeah, in the supply crate is a thousand bucks. Just get that. Get into this Granger right here. Get the GPS data. And get back into your Karuma or Zentorno or your vehicle of choice. Doesn't matter at all. But like I said, it's recommended to use Karuma for this. And once you've done that, go to the depot in El Burro Heights. So just start driving up there. And once you get to, like, once you get out of the town and out on, like, the open fields and stuff like that with the hills, you don't need to follow the GPS signal anymore. You can just do what I do right here. Once you get to, like, the squiggly lines, if you, can, if you check the radar down there, once you get to this point, just drive straight up to that yellow dot. Just right up to the blip. You don't need to follow the road because that's gonna s it's gonna save you a lot of time doing this. And once you get up here, you're gonna need to start killing some guys again. 
And there are guys coming in vehicles as well. Sometimes there are two of them, sometimes there's four, sometimes there's even six vehicles coming at you that you're gonna have to deal with. I've never had more than six, actually. And, okay, let's just blow that up. So, just kill all of these. It might be a bit tedious to have to kill all of these because they, they spawn quite a while and you need, but you need to take care of all of these guys because you need to do the uh, hack the computer and they these guys will shoot you if and kill you if you don't um, take care of them first obviously if you're if you've got a friend to play this mission with you it's all gonna be good because then you won't have to worry about killing all of the guys because then you will have someone covering you if you're the one hacking or they can do the hacking and you can cover them uh, but do, since I'm doing this solo, I'm going to need to take care of these guys. And if you're playing it solo, you're also going to need to ca take care of the guys. Because there's no armor in the world that can withstand the bullets from 10 guys shooting at you at the same time. Just kill them. Kill them all. And, okay, there's a guy. Let's just throw this up and maybe he'll die. Guess not. Mm -mm -mm. There was a guest in there, I know that. Okay. Let's just go over here and kill this guy. And there's another vehicle coming in with people in it. Kill them. Get them out of the way. There we go. I think we should be safe now. Start hacking, and maybe I should like learn to drive correctly. I guess we're clear. Yes. So here's another supply crate. Shoot that open. That's another thousand dollars. Okay, we are not safe to engage just yet. And here's a few more guys coming in. <clears throat> there we go. Should be safe now. Going to hack the terminal. My computer, external device, hack and connect. And find these numbers 76, 61, 95, 63. Uh, okay, this might be a bit harder than I thought. 95, 63. Okay, now they're shooting at me, so I'm going to need to kill them again. And <laughs> let's try this again, shall we? Okay, my computer, external device, hack connect zero zero eight two 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 one two oh i oh there it is oh shit there it is yes press any key to continue use brute force and just line these letters up as they get down to wherever that green thingy is and then down and out dot exe and then just get in your car again and now you're gonna drive to the hangar or the hangar in uh, the LSI airport. And this time the GPS is gonna bug out and tell you to drive all sorts of crazy roads down there. Just keep going like south and you will get there. And the GPS will reroute your, or re recalculate your path. So you should be able to get down there without having to drive this Slurkily, a little bit. That big swivel thingy rope stuff. You don't have to follow the light that much. Oh, I can't find the words. 
squiggly line, whatever. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want to call it. So just drive down to the LSI airport. <clears throat> and once you're down there, there is a plane that you're going to need to blow up. Uh, and I like to do that before I go to the actual hangar. Because then I don't have to worry about that plane later on. Because that plane is going to take off and it's a supplier in it. But it, you won't have to worry about that if you take the plane out before you do anything else. Mm -mm -mm. Get driving, get driving, get driving down there. So, while I'm just driving and doing nothing, what do you guys want to see on YouTube? What do you guys want me to make videos about? Like, do you want more GTA videos? Do you want more Killing Floor videos? Do you want more... Um, yeah, and, and here's another tip. Don't try to go in through the gates. Because the plane is on the left side. Oh my god! Fucking phone. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm a bit jumped up now. Yes, so on the left side here, you have this ramp. Just take this and fly over. Because the plane is on this side of the, the airport. And as you can see, I can't use my sticky bombs or grenades in the Karuma. Had I had my Centorno, I would have been able to use them. But I'm gonna set up my micro SMG. Get out. Sticky bomb. The plane. Get into my car. Drive away. Blow the car up. Uh, <laughs> the plane, sorry. And now we don't have to worry about that. It's been 11 minutes of this video already so yeah and once you're here a bunch of guys is, are gonna be here as well so just take them out what you can do actually is because it says steal the coke you don't need to steal the coke okay I can shoot him because I'm in the Kuruma you have a kind of a limited field of vision in the room. Get, getting to one of these attack choppers, the buzzards, or whatever you want to call them. Make sure missiles are selected with uh, like homing missiles. And you should be able to pretty much blow all of these guys up. And just fire away. And you need to destroy all of these vehicles as well. Now I'm just gonna have to wait because there's like a cooldown on how many missiles you can fire in one go. And now it says steal the coke. You can actually blow the coke up. Just, just do this. And go to Madrazo's house. You don't want to go to Madrazo's house just yet, though. Because there are still th some things you need to do if you want to get more money. There's a chopper coming in here. Um, you might want to take care of that. No, I guess not. Okay, just take the helicopter down. Like I said, there's like a cooldown on on the missiles. <laughs> there we go. He's dead. And down here, there should be some money spawned. Yeah. It's drug money. From two supply crates that are lying down here, or four supply crates, and here's a total of five thousand dollars, I think, six thousand. Yeah, six thousand dollars is lying down there. So just get back into the chopper once you've picked up the, that money, and as you can see, that's eight thousand dollars. And for, 
49, 8,049 actually, because I've killed a few guys and took their money. But once you've picked that money up, just get into the chopper and just fly to Madrazo's house. And uh, land outside on his driveway and everything should be good. And it's taking 15 minutes now video that's like 14 minutes probably of pure mission time so I'm sorry for the long video um, but you're, you're gonna see at the end of this the payout and I'm gonna add it up for you guys I think the max payout from the mission completion is $22,400 I don't think we're gonna get that amount now though. I think I'm gonna end up at like 19,000 or $20,000. But yeah, you get the $8,000 during the mission itself. So it's a pretty good paying mission, I would say. And here's Madrasso's house right there to the right. And just level out the uh, chopper and land in his driveway. Oh, okay, shit, shit, shit. You don't really need to be too careful. Just be a bit, just be careful enough not to crash and die. But yeah, there we go. Turn the mission in. Let's see what he has Earth. to offer Earth. me. A pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure doing business with you. And there we go, mission passed. 15 job points. 18,360. Plus 3,116 RP. So the RP is really good. The, pay, the money payout could have been a little bit better. Uh, make sure to rate the job. And that's going to give you another 50 RP, I think. Uh, and let's head back out. So 18,000 plus 8,000. That should be at 26,000 something money. And remember, I had my, my cash completely cleared and I'm now at 26,406 uh, dollars 26,409 dollars even uh, so yeah that's it for this mission as well if you like the video make sure to leave a like and please subscribe to my video my channel if you want to um, and also make sure to check out my twitch Twitch channels where I do weekly live streams as much as I can. It would really help me out if you like guys would like to drop by, leave a follow, or anything like that. And I will see you guys in the next video. So until then, be safe and have a good one.